When Tesla first revealed the original Roadster in October 2007, many traditional car manufacturers laughed it off, convincing themselves that electric vehicles would never become a reality. However, as Tesla continued to release more and more affordable EVs, the legacy automakers began to recognize electric vehicles as a feasible method of transportation. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elon Musk! It is time to deliver Model S. As the EV transition continues to accelerate, more and more traditional car manufacturers are following Elon Musk's footsteps. And while competition in the EV space still remains as a joke, it's important to understand that competition is healthy for Tesla. Competition keeps Elon Musk and Tesla's team working at a fast pace. Tesla is famous for the large supercharging network that spans all across the US. Many legacy automakers are beginning to launch their own version of this network, with some having quite unappealing names. For example, just three weeks ago, Ford released the Ford Fast Door Charge. And that really is Fast Door Charge's logo with the ancient writing of the capital F and a two-pronged household plug attached to the F. Nonetheless, the automaker is extremely proud of Fast Door Charge and even trademarked the idea. In late 2019, Lincoln, which is owned by Ford, released the prototype of his charger, which looks incredibly similar to Tesla's charging network. Four days ago, Michael Steiner, the head of Porsche's research and development, also announced the launch of Porsche's charging network, called the Turbo Charger. General Motors also announced that they were building a charging network across the US in urban areas. Other automakers creating a charging network include Nissan, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, and Nikola Motors. In the age of the current pandemic, it's clearly an advantage for automakers to have an online ordering process. The idea of the online ordering process first started when Tesla's team realized that they were barred from opening dealerships across the US. However, although it may have seemed like an issue back then, the legal trouble has benefited Tesla in many ways. I'm sure most of us can agree that going to a car dealership is similar to going to a dentist. Unlike shopping at the mall, purchasing a vehicle at a car dealership is simply not something people can find joy in. Since then, many legacy automakers have attempted to simultaneously have an online ordering system while still running dealerships. This has slowed the transition to online ordering by a large amount. After all, who would want to buy a vehicle at the MSRP price? while others are purchasing it for a much cheaper price. Some automakers that have launched an online delivery system include General Motors, Fiat Chrysler, Ford, and Toyota. Nonetheless, I'm sure most of you didn't know that these legacy car manufacturers even had online delivery systems. Most vehicles made by traditional car manufacturers have knobs that control the different settings in the vehicle. Some manufacturers have digitized half of the car settings using a small screen while leaving the other half to buttons and knobs. However, we're beginning to see legacy automakers digitalize the entire system, similar to how Teslas have been for many years. For example, the Ford Mustang Mach-E, an electric SUV that will supposedly be released in early 2021, will have an infotainment system with the screen knob at the bottom of the screen. Volvo, which is owned by Ford, will release the Polestar 2 with an extremely similar infotainment screen to Tesla's. Along with Ford, Volkswagen is also attempting to digitalize the entire system with the MK8 VW Golf GTI and the Volkswagen ID3. However, Volkswagen's ID3, which is a compact electric vehicle, has had its release delayed due to in-car software issues, which just manifests how the car manufacturer wasn't able to catch on that the infotainment building process requires plenty of skilled software engineers. The term Gigafactory, which was invented by Elon Musk in November 2013, refers to a factory that manufactures batteries. The term Giga comes from Gigawatt, as Tesla's Gigafactory 1 has a projected annual output 
of 50 gigawatts. In order to produce electric vehicles at a high volume, it's important to be able to manufacture your own batteries. In Tesla's early stages, the company had to rely on Panasonic to manufacture batteries for them. After Tesla continued to ramp up their own battery production for a long period of time, it was announced in March 2020 that Panasonic would officially be shutting down all operations in Tesla's Gigafactory 1. Many legacy automakers are starting to ramp up their own version of the Gigafactory. For example, Volkswagen recently converted its Germany factory in Zwickau to a plant that will solely focus on producing the ID3. Along with the Zwickau factory, Volkswagen also plans to convert its Dresden, Germany factory, two Chinese factories, and one US factory in Tennessee into factories manufacturing purely electric vehicles. General Motors also plans to create its own Gigafactory that will produce 30 gigawatts annually. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so that I know you guys want to see more videos like this. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon in the description below. I appreciate your support.